Oh my god, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. I just have to hit her five times and then one tap the boss. I love it. I love it. Hi, guys. My name is Jasamian, uh, and this is the foot shot. What is poppin squad is your boy Jasamian and welcome back to another division 2 build video now today We are breaking limits y'all so today I have a special build video for you guys For only certain amount of people can be able to make this build right now for a specific reason And that is because the build is revolved around the merciless Rifle now before you guys go crazy, you know, what I'm saying I know a lot of people haven't heard too much about it or, or know what it does or everything I'll explain it to you. So first things first the whole builds are gonna be built around explosive damage You do not need crit chance. You do not need crit damage. You do not need rate of fire none of that It's all built around explosive damage So how it works is basically this weapon itself it has a binary trigger where if you shoot once and hold down the trigger and let go of the trigger it shoots another bullet so one stroke will be two shots. Now, a lot of people know this from, from having the um, the Ruthless in the pre-order. And everybody's like, well, what's so special about that? Yes, the Ruthless is horrible, but the, the Merciless is the exact opposite. So when you shoot something with the trigger down, the first bullet, you, you put a mark on them, as you can see right there. That nice little uh, circle with an X in it. And that mark stays on them forever. So it doesn't have a duration or anything. And basically, if you shoot again, you see how... Nothing really changes. That's because I put another stack. But if you let go, it removes the stack and it blows up all the explosives that you planted inside of your target. Now, when you aim downside or not, or when you spam, either, either way, whenever you land that first bullet, every time you land the first shot and without blowing them up, you're going to stack another explosive up to five. So right here, I have two. So if I let go of this, you can just see 300,000 damage. The power behind this build is that every time you stack it, another 75% damage is added to it. You can kind of see where I'm going here. So let's say you're in the situation, especially PVE, it's super easy doing PVE. Let's say you shoot and you stack it up, right? So obviously you want to miss the second shot. And you can see on my gun, it's a five. And when you shoot this fifth bullet, after you have five stacks, it's a GG. As you can see, boom, right there. Crazy amount of damage. You can see right there, 1.4 million damage now if, if you get really good you can kind of get it pretty fast like if, if you know how to shoot off um i've been practicing a lot so i'm, I'm getting kind of good with it but it takes a lot of getting used to but you can see no matter what even if you shoot in the head or the body it does not matter it's always going to be that set amount of damage which makes it really good to use if you aren't that good at aiming it makes it really good to use no matter what distance because no matter where you're at it's always going to hit the same and it's unreal so as you can see it's nuts right there. It, it even glitched the last hit because it's so nuts. And if you just want to spam it, you can see it still tears through. Like, it still chunks through. If you get really good at the rhythm, you can kind of make it like a slow automatic rifle in a way. You can kind of keep the rhythm. Yeah. So anyways, I know I'm, I'm talking too much. I just wanted to put that out there because I know a lot of people are going to ask that immediately. Well, how does it work and all this? That's it right there. You see Guerrilla Warfare. And also, you can only put in one enemy at a time. So this build is designed to focus. So... Without further ado, let's get into the build itself. Like I said, the main weapon is going to be the Merciless. You can get this by running the Jefferson mission on hard or challenging difficulty. It is a random boss loot drop. There is nothing else I can tell you on, on that end. I know a lot of people want to know what's the fast way. That is the only way I know of. I got it on like my second run. So RNG has to be your best friend in order for you to get it that fast. So it's going to be pretty good. And <laughs> I'm telling you. If you get used to this weapon, it goes nuts. Now, getting to the build itself. Now, my theory behind the build was being that I did not need crit chance or crit damage or anything in particular, I just wanted to get whatever I could that has either damage to elites or explosive damage. Now, when I'm playing PvP, I will put on all explosive damage on the top four because the damage to elites does not apply to players. And on your knee pads and your holster, doesn't matter because you can't get explosive damage anyways. So being able to have this four, that's a raw 80% um, damage on top of it no matter what. But... For the sake of the video, I was using it more for PvE. Um, I have a mask that has 21% damage to elites with uh, hard hitting. The ideal thing that I would have would be having damage to elites on a China Light mask because not only do you have 
20% explosion damage. You'll have the damage to elite and you'll have the 10% extra explosion damage. So I'm missing out on a lot of damage here, but um, it's still okay because I can switch off between the two. Um, but easily the one with damage to elite does a lot more damage being that that roll can go so much higher than just uh, 20%. So it's going to be an RK mask. I have hazard protection, damage to elites and crit chance. Don't really care about the crit chance. Like I said, the build is focused on the explosion, nothing else. Going down to the chest piece, I have a regular Alp Summit chest piece with health and bonus armor. That's probably going to be the god roll for me because I just want to be as tanky as possible while running this build, being that I don't have to spec into any firearms or anything crazy, or not firearms, but firearms talents, uh, such as like weapon damage and all that. I don't really need to spec into that. So for me, get, the tankier I can get, the better the build's going to work out for me. Going down to my holster, uh, just a regular uh, Fenris holster with uh, hard hitting, um, nothing too fancy, cooldown reduction, I would rather have bonus armor or something on there, but uh, as long as I have that damage to elites, I'm, I'm good, you know what I'm saying, so going to the backpack, it's going to be uh, protection from elites, it's going to be critical hit damage, weapon damage, and bonus armor with destructive and hazard protection, uh, the god roll obviously would be having explosive damage and um, damage to elites, but we can't have everything, going down to the gloves, I'm going to have assault rifle damage, who cares, we're all focusing just on destructive, which is 20% explosion damage. Um, it is a Providence, so I get a little skill power, but who really cares? And the knee pads, um, it's okay because I got 10% rifle damage, so I'm pretty happy with that. 4,500 health and another damage to elite. So as you can see, just by looking at the build, usually, like I said, if I were to change this, you can see it'll be all explode. You see all the fists go crazy, and it matches perfectly because look at the demolitionist logo. It's like it's made for that, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, uh, it is explosion damage, so you want to focus on Demolitionist. I specifically leveled up Demolitionist just for this build, just so I can get that 25% explosion damage and be able to do crazy. So if you got Demolitionist already, you're already uh, a part into the build, probably even farther than me because you got all the rest of the buffs. But as long as you have that 25% damage, you'll be able to hit the numbers that I'm hitting. So like I said, don't worry about anything. Pretty much, it's, it's not like it's a hard build. It's not a hard build to put together at all. Um, if you can, like I said, if you can somehow get... Uh, China Light, God Roll with damage to elites, you're already having a better build than me. The rest is just you specking on to explosion damage and damage to elites, and you're going to be able to do phenomenal numbers just naturally. You don't have to worry, but you see the damage is 17.9, so nobody really cares that the base damage is so low when you're able to do crazy amounts of damage anyway. So you see, like, when I shoot a regular shot, like, if it doesn't glitch on me, you can see, like, I only got 1,800, but then that explosion that comes every other bullet is 87k. And what's really good about that is the fact that it, it's almost like shooting a semi-auto sniper rifle. Um, that, that's not, like, truly mid max, but you can do crazy amounts of damage if you get used to it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I know a lot of people are going to be upset that they just don't have access to the Merciless right now. Get in there and grind it while it's this strong. I don't know if it, this is intended. I don't know, whatever. But, man, I'm going I'm to try to formulate... Some, some clips of me going crazy with this, stripping all of the enemy's armor in one explosion. It's nuts. It's just absolutely nuts, and it's bonkers and normalized. And the Optimize, it's just as good. Don't get me wrong. And the, Optimize, uh, the Occupy DZ, it's really good, but it's just not as crazy as normalized because people are capped. And being that you're running straight um, base buffs, like 20% explosion damage, it doesn't get normalized down in the way that you're used to. So you'll be able to do crazy amounts of damage and people are going to be shook and people are going to think you're hacking and all that stuff. So if I go into the gear times, you see destructive, 20%, um, destructive, 20%, destructive, 20%, destructive, 20%. That's 80 right there by itself. 15% damage to elites, 10% hazard protection, another 15 damage to elites, the 25% that comes from the demolitionist perk, and of course the guerrilla warfare, which is the ultimate talent in this whole thing that's making it all come together. Um, as far as the secondary, that's all dependent on you. You probably, I will go with something that gives you more stability, like the weapon handling one, the one that's holstered, because sometimes it is kind of annoying to shoot this rifle. It does have a kickback and does uh, appear super, super annoying when you're trying to aim down sight. And you can see just by looking as proof, my critical hit chance is 3.5% and it does not matter because it's basically like a guaranteed explosion crit every time no matter what so it does not matter uh how much you spec into it you can if you want to i guess but i mean it, it doesn't do anything for you you're better off going for armor to have a, a more tankier experience especially in those pve situations so that's pretty much it you guys the build is phenomenal i'm having so much fun with it uh i feel like this this is super super strong when it's played correctly um focusing putting in five uh marks into an enemy and triggering it breaking armor super quick, and not to mention one of the most powerful synergies I've seen so far is that 
when you kill an enemy with this, obviously you're, you're putting the stacks on and you're just randomly playing. If you kill an enemy with that explosion, it counts as explosion damage, which drops demolitionist signature ammo. So you're going to be able to like have, you're always going to have ammo. I promise you, you're going to be like, man, ammo is dropping left and right. And that's because you're, you're all, every kill you do is going to be explosion damage. And, and that adds up, I promise you. So what you, what the synergy I found out is basically I'm going to run in with my merciless, try to get some ammo, clear the early game mobs. You know what I'm saying? Just drop the signature ammo all over the place. Just keep shooting it everywhere you can. Cause you're going to get it right back. Um, and then when you get to a boss, clear out the room or clear out the arena with your signature ammo, being that you're a demolitionist, and then just start marking. And then you can you don't have to save your signature ammo for the boss because this is a boss killer weapon by itself. So you can one-shot most regular bosses, especially on solo. Um, when you get into four-man groups, that's where it starts coming like down to like two or three uh, full five stacks. But in solo, you can damn near one-shot any boss in the game. Well, not one-shot, but one explosion damage boss every time so like anytime you put that five stack it's it's five and done it's the it's like tick 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 boom and it's done so it's pretty much it you guys uh I'm, I'm excited like this is my one of my favorite builds right now like this is this builds rivaling my captain america build as far as fun and, and in pvp i'm still discovering it i had like you saw um, i had a couple clips just showing like what it can do obviously it's better in the dark zone because you're not right in front of their face in like conflict or normalization but you can do some <laughs> you can shake some people's lives up bro if you get more than three stacks and it's over bro it's like you you're holding their life in your hand at any distance and it's insane so i love you guys appreciate y'all hopefully you guys are, are appreciating the grind i'm trying to put out putting out multiple options for you guys for you peeps on pv side and pvp side you feel me so enjoy it uh if you have merciless gg you're going to have a blast and hopefully nothing changes on it so by the time whoever doesn't have it gets it you guys can enjoy this phenomenal build so uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this merciless explosion build and see you out there it's been real i love y'all your boy is out Damn, they're getting uh oh. I think I shield this cool. Ajin, this kid's lucky. Yeah. Ah. Boost about to activate. They do or we do?